Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to give you five reasons why I switched my mining rig from Ethereum to Ethereum Classic. All right, so if you're only about the bottom line, this will not make any sense to you whatsoever. But if you stick with me, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to explain why I did what I did. So obviously, um, looking here on Hive on Post, so I mine with the Linux setup, so it's mining on Hive OS, um, not Windows. And so uh, I have the option to uh, mine uh, on the Hive on Pool, which is pretty cool, um, no fees. And if you have 100 mega hashes, you get $6 mining Ethereum. If you, the same 100 mega hashes will give you $3 a day mining ETC. So it's a no brainer. Most people just go ahead and mine ETH with that. People have a couple thousand, you know, mega hashes. And, you know, they just throw it all on ETH to make the most money. And that's exactly what I did all of all of the last year. Like from March till now, I was mining Ethereum. And then I would, um, I would end up buying Ethereum Classic with it. Um, that way I could get double my Ethereum Classic. But recently I just realized that, you know what? I believe in this chain, I want to support it, and every little bit counts. So I decided to just switch my mining rig and just mine Ethereum Classic, just, you know, add to the, you know, the hash power. So that's the main reason. Number Reason number one is to support the network, right? Uh, so that's my first reason. Secondly, I believe that Ethereum Classic is programmable Bitcoin. Why do I say it's programmable Bitcoin? Uh, because Ethereum Classic and, and Bitcoin have a few things in common, such as, you know, a ledger, accounts, and balances, a fixed monetary policy. Uh, they are both proof of work. And, um, you know, there's full replication on the blockchain. Uh, but here is where Ethereum Classic, you know, uh, does more than Bitcoin. On Ethereum Classic, you could actually... Uh, write smart contracts, you know, include gas fees, make decentralized applications, and it's just a whole other level. And if there is enough hash power on there, it may never be attacked again. Um, and so it's just a matter of time. If if ETH, ETH goes to ETH 2.0, nobody really knows what's going to happen, uh, but they are going to be a lot of you know miners out there looking for a home, and um, I think ETC is one of the places to go. And with such mining power, uh, a lot of stuff might be coming to ETC. Uh, so again, again, I may or may not be right, uh, but it's something I believe in. So I think I'll just go ahead and start mining it right away instead of mining Ethereum and then buying ETC. Another reason why I made this switch is that I believe there'll be a sequence of events that will make a decentralized fixed monetary, uh, you know, project like Ethereum Classic more desirable than uh, all the proof of stake coins that people can just snap their fingers and, you know, make a billion coins out of thin air. And uh, so it's... There will be a sequence of events. It could be maybe a SEC clamping down on ETH 2.0. It could be, uh, I mean, I could be completely wrong, right? Uh, but then again, it's a risk I'm willing to take. If I, if I, if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. It is what it is. Is this number four, number five? Okay. Uh, the fourth reason is the fact that Ethereum Classic is immutable, right? Um, it's like once you write a smart contract on there, you deploy it, and it is mutable. It cannot be changed, and uh, that gives it a level of um, uh, trust that you know you are. You looked at a code for a project, and you're investing in it for that code, and you know all of a sudden you don't. They don't change the rules on you, and uh, you know leave you hanging. So uh, that finally leading the way. Um, I have helped people set up massive rigs, massive rigs, uh, more than a couple hundred times the rig I have. And I know a bunch of those people will all be looking for homes to go. Uh, so again, if, um, 
if I'm probably going to help some of those people set up again, why not do it and have some experience in it before, um, you know, I, I get called upon again to, to help. So, uh, and also just doing it might actually uh, show other people the way that, hey, come on, come on ETC. This is where the masses are going to flock to. Finally, I'm just a trailblazer. I feel like, um, you know, it is going to be something soon. Is It is going to be big soon. Earlier this year, there were a couple of days that Ethereum Classic was more profitable to mine than um, ETH. And everybody started researching how to mine ETC. People didn't know whether it was at the top or that it was going to stop at 180 or it was going to go to 300. If you had done that, Ethereum Classic would have been three times more profitable to mine than ETH. And if it goes up to any level like that and it stays there for a week or two, it will pull, it would pull about 5%, 10% of ETH miners. Um, so it's, it's just a few things that need to happen in a certain order for, um, you know, all the hash power to start flowing towards ETC. And I may be crazy. Uh, people will say it's an old chain. Why don't you leave the old chain alone and then follow the new chain? But I may be crazy. But uh, again, nobody knows how it's going to end. All right. So um, here on my setup here, um, so as you can see, I um, <laughs> mining Ethereum Classic, it's, it's giving me $2 a day. So um, again, that's a lot lower than what, what I was doing mining ETH, uh, but the setup is good, 99.55% um, good. So, so I, think, I think it's all good here. I'm mining on a high volume uh, pool and um, there are no fees here. I wanted to mine on two miners because that's just where I, you know, everybody was and all the Twitter, uh, you know, snapshots was on Hive on, on two miners. I'm like, oh, let me add something more to that. But I, uh, I was going to be charged a 3% fee, so I decided to go with a with a free, um, you know, on Hive. And if you're on Hive, it's quite easy. All you have to do is create another fly sheet. So if you look here, I do have my, um, my Ethereum fly sheet and then my ETC fly sheet. So you, you create your fly sheet on your fly sheet. That's where you're going to determine which pool you're going to, uh, you know, mine on to. When I was with uh, Ethereum, I was mining to flex pool. And, and then the same configurations for your GPUs. I didn't change any configurations for my GPUs. So this is not supposed to be an in-depth uh, video of anything. This was just giving you the reasons why I switched. And um, so that's it. That's it for now. Well, I hope you all have a good day and uh, I will see you later. I'm back. I'm back making videos, guys. I'm back making videos. It's, it's sad that the market is down, but we're still going to make some videos. And so I'll see you later. Bye.